Hello friends, in this one let's take a look at some graphing some examples of inequalities in three-dimensional space. So we're going to begin with 0 is less than or equal to x, which is less than or equal to 1. Let's do another one here. 0 is less than or equal, for example, to y, which is then less than or equal to positive 1. And let's do here, 0 is less than or equal, less than or equal to z, which is less than or equal to 1. This is basically a block in three-dimensional space. So let me just add a coordinate system as I have, and then... Let's graph this in here. So first of all, this tells you that the value of x, y, and z ranges from 0 to 1 on each variable. Basically what it's telling you is that you imagine it like a solid 1 by 1 by 1 block. Set with basically with a corner on the origin because a 0, 0, 0 is a point present there. And an upper corner that is at 1, 1, and 1. In other words, this might be a one face of it right here. Take a look. This is like a face of it. And then basically you kind of draw another face in this position about. Then he connects this this way, roughly speaking, it's the idea across, and then this one this way, and then this one this way, right here. One thing that we should observe here, because these are inequalities, it means that any point on the surface of the shape would satisfy the inequality, but also points inside the shape. So, for example, if I grab the following uh, one half for x, one half for y, and then one half for z, if you plug those in here, well, one half is between 0 and 1 works. 1 half on y is between 0 and 1, and then 1 half on z is also between 0 and 1, inclusive of 0 and 1 for each one. So that works. Again, any point on the surface would also work. I take this point right there. Whatever that is, that would work. In general, in other words, x comma y comma z. This point here, this is like the corner point right there. That's where each coordinate is equal to 1. So that would be basically the point 1 comma 1 comma 1. That would work because 0 is less than or equal to 1, which is less than or equal to 1. That's true by the inequality part. 0 is less than 1, and then 1 is less than or equal to 1 is true. 0 is less than or equal to 1 on the y coordinate. Again, that's true. 0 is less than or equal to 1, which is less than or equal to 1 on the z coordinate. It's true. This is one possibility. Let's do another one here. For example, imagine we have now 0 is less than or equal to x, which is less than or equal to 1. And then 0 is less than or equal to y, which is less than or equal to 1. But then z can be anything. There's no restriction on z anymore. How do you visualize that? Well, again, draw a coordinate system this way. There are restrictions on x and y that you have to impose. So in that case, basically, draw what looks like the face of a three-dimensional object passing through x equals 1 right there. See, it kind of basically looks like this. Let me make this red, though, so it stands out a bit better. See, it kind of looks like this. This is one face. Right, and back there, that would be kind of like another face, uh, roughly speaking, about here, you see? Now, because z is anything, let me also connect these this way. You see, like this, and then like this, and then like this, and lastly, also like this. There you go. Uh, because z is anything, there's no restriction, restriction on z. That means that this kind of rectangular prism, essentially, it would continue forever going in a vertical dimension and continue forever going down in that dimension. It would never stop. And again, any point on the surface makes the inequality true. Like any point from the surface right there. Equally well, any point from the interior of it, imagine this is pointing to a point on the interior of that object that also makes it true. See? So in other words, any combination x comma y comma z makes it true from here. Same thing, any point on the interior, whatever that form is, x x comma y comma z you can grab some particular values like say you can make it more concrete maybe say one half because that's less than one or equal to it one half on y and maybe say for example zero that makes it true you see and on this one if i were on a surface for example on this face on the right face of the shape well on the right side of the on the right side of a face the y coordinate would always be one okay the x coordinate that could be whatever. It could be, say, 0.2. And the z coordinate could, again, be whatever. It could, for example, be 10. You see? Notice that 0.2 is between 0 and 1 on x. 1 is between 0 and 1, inclusive of the endpoints on y. And because z is not given, it can be anything. Let's do a couple other examples here. So here's another example. Let me make one up. Imagine what we have is x squared plus z squared is less than, for example, 1. Let's just draw a coordinate system first so we can mark things up properly. Here's a coordinate system. This is basically at first a circle in the xz plane because no y is given. That's an important understanding. So basically it kind of looks like this. You see? 
it's a circle on xz plane and the same thing over here just extend it over to here kind of this way see now notice that this says less than one strictly remember that the radius of a cross section here is one unit that corresponds to this one and then you connect the sides this way like this and then this way and again because no y is given you have to understand that this kind of drum looking object it's a cylinder basically it's been turned over right it would continue forever to the left and to the right notice that because this is less than one this describes the following okay so set of points inside the cylinder but not on the surface of the cylinder the reason for that is there on the surface any combination of x and z will be such that it it's equal to one in other words you see for example just take this point right here okay and the surface itself it would be x squared plus y squared would be equal to one and not less than one which means that what makes the inequality true is the interior take a point from the interior like call that point whatever x comma y comma z right that would be such that the following is true x squared plus y uh, z squared rather is less than one and also notice because y is not given y can be anything so it's a the object is a cylinder like it can basically of soda but the boundary the surface itself is not included let's do one last one here take a look so i have the following x squared plus y squared plus z squared is say greater than or equal to one what is this well let me grab a coordinate system again and what this essentially represents is a sphere if you just use the equal to part that is it's a sphere that refers to the all points that are one unit away from the center which is the origin of the coordinate system so we can depict this as follows then to the best of our ability kind of draw first as a cross section of the sphere this way parallel to the xy plane and then make a copy because we're lucky enough to be using a computer so let me grab that and then make a copy turn it 90 degrees so set it upright basically relative to this one here let's grab that and then one last thing that we have to do is the following we have to wrap this inside another circle so that will look like the following i'm going to grab this circle object here i'm going to begin with this as the center i'm going to kind of you pull out this way i need to make a spherical looking object to the best of you know our ability it's not so easy always there you go but because now this says greater than or equal to one that means the following are the points on the surface of the sphere included in this inequality solution yes okay so points on surface are included points beyond the surface okay so in other words all the points that are for example kind of like coming out of the screen at you going into the screen deeper going off to the sides and so on all of those points are also included points beyond the surface are also included okay included points inside the sphere are not included just because grab a very simple point from inside the sphere some point it doesn't really matter this one right here for example the origin right there you see that's the point zero comma zero comma zero and then you plug it in is zero squared plus zero squared plus for example zero squared greater than or equal to one well on the left side you have a sum of zeros squared it's still zero so a zero in other words greater than or equal to one this is clearly false so the inside of the sphere is not included but the surface is and then everything outside it is but that is it so thank you all so much for watching please leave a like please subscribe i will see you in another video